Hi friends! Welcome to the Easy Deploy YouTube channel. In this video, we'll explore Atlantis, a tool that helps us manage all Terraform workflows efficiently, and how to set up Atlantis with GitHub. Why we are using Atlantis. In our organization, we initially employed Terraform Cloud to automate our infrastructure management workflows. Initially, some features were provided to us at no cost. However, starting last year, they began implementing hourly charges for each resource managed through Terraform Cloud. Given the substantial volume of resources we manage across our client base, these costs became prohibitive. As a result, we explored alternative solutions and discovered Atlantis, which offers similar workflow management capabilities to Terraform Cloud, but without the associated costs. What is Atlantis? Atlantis is an open source project that integrates with Terraform and infrastructure as a code tool and connects with popular version control systems like GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket. It provides an automated workflow for managing infrastructure as code using Terraform in a collaborative and controlled manner. Atlantis locks a directory or workspace until the pull request is merged or the lock is manually deleted. This ensures that changes are applied in the order expected. Why choose Atlantis over Terraform Cloud? Atlantis offered a more affordable solution than Terraform Cloud, mitigating the high costs associated with managed resources. Atlantis being self-hosted provided greater control and customization over infrastructure management workflows. Atlantis demonstrated robust scalability, accommodating our expanding infrastructure needs effectively. Atlantis maintained similar workflow management capabilities to Terraform Cloud without compromising essential features. Here are the steps we are going to do in this video. Generate access token in GitHub. Install Docker in Amazon Linux 3. Install the Atlantis Docker server. Configure AWS in Atlantis Docker container. Configuring webhook in GitHub repository. Write Terraform code with S3 as the backend. Test the Terraform Atlantis workflow. Prerequisites. Amazon Linux 3 instance with 4022 ports allowed. S3 bucket with versioning enabled. IAM user with S3 and EC2 full access. Private GitHub repository. This following link is the GitHub repository, where you can find all the Terraform code and the commands used in this video. Feel free to explore it. I will provide the GitHub link in the description. Now, let's get into the demo to set up Atlantis. In the first step, we'll create an access token in GitHub. Open your GitHub account, click on your profile picture at the top right corner, and then select Settings. On the left side panel, click on Developer Settings. Select the Personal Access Tokens followed by Tokens. Expand the Generate New Token and select Generate New Token Classic option. Enter a name for this token inside the Node option. For expiration, select any days to expire your token for your convenience. If you want your token not to expire, you can choose no expiration also. Under the Select Scope section, only select repo and admin colon repo underscore hook. Leave others as non-selected. Click the Generate Token button. Now, you will get in secret token provided by GitHub. Copy this token and save it in your notepad. We'll need it later in this video. If you close this page without copying the code, you won't be able to retrieve it again. Deleting the token and generating a new one will be the only option. In this step, we'll install Docker in the Amazon Linux 3 server. Open your AWS console in the browser. Select the EC2 instance that you created for this demo. Check the security group that attached to your instance has 4022 ports allowed. Click on the connect button on the top of the page and click the connect. Once SSH into the server, run sudo yum update command. 
I have provided the commands in the description that need to install Docker. Copy them and run them on the server. You can find these commands in my GitHub repository also. Docker is now being installed. Once the installation completed, run Docker version command to check whether the Docker is installed perfectly. It is time to run Atlantis server as the Docker container. Open your EC2's SSH terminal and log in as root user. Run docker ps command to check docker is running. We need a docker file. So, create a docker file with the vim command. Go to the GitHub repo using the link in the description and open the docker file. Copy all the code in that file and paste it in the newly created docker file in your EC2 server. This file will create a customized Docker image for Atlantis. Save the file. Again, go to the repository and open the readme file. Copy the docker build command and run it in the server. Our Docker image is built successfully. To verify this, Run docker images command to see the image. In my readme file, you can find the Atlantis docker container command. Copy the command. We need to edit some values. This is the name for the container and this is for the image. Replace this value with your GitHub account's username. Replace this value with your GitHub access token, which you created early in this demo. Here change this with your GitHub repository, where you're gonna keep your Terraform code for this demo. For me, I am gonna use the same repository where I keep the demo files for this video. The Docker command should be like this. This should have the name of your organization, or username and your repository's name. Copy the entire command and run it in the server. Run docker ps command to verify the Atlantis docker container is successfully running. Navigate to the EC2 console and copy the public IP of your EC2 instance. Paste it in a new tab and add 4000 port with that IP. Now you can see the page of the Atlantis server. So to this step, things are going very well. This step will have the AWS IAM profile configuration in the Atlantis Docker container. As mentioned in the prerequisites, you should have an AWS IAM user with S3 and EC2 full access, along with an access key created for that user. If you haven't done so yet or need guidance on how to accomplish this, please refer to our detailed documentation on our blog for step-by-step -step instructions. You can find the link in description. We need to SSH into Docker container to edit the AWS credentials file. So run that docker exec command in the server. Now you are in the container. To edit the AWS credentials, run this command in the server. It asks for your AWS access key. Copy your AWS access key and paste it. Now it asks your secret access key. Copy your secret access key and paste it. Leave things as empty by hitting enter. We have successfully configured AWS IAM profile in Atlantis server. This step is for configure webhook in GitHub. Webhook will trigger Atlantis server whenever a changes happens on the pull requests. It is time to configure Webhook. So click on settings in the repository and click Webhooks. Click Add Webhook button. For payload URL, we need to add our Atlantis server URL. Open the Atlantis webpage and copy the IP URL and paste it in payload URL. Add. Events at the end of the URL. The URL should like this. For content type, select application slash JSON. 
For this, select the third one and need to choose some options. Select the issue comments. Pull requests. Pull request reviews and pushes. Verify that active option is enabled and click add webhook. We've successfully added the webhook for our Atlantis server in GitHub. In this step, we will write a Terraform script and configure S3 bucket as backend for that script. Open your GitHub repository where you want to create your Terraform code and copy the HTTPS URL of the repo. Open your VS Code Editor and click on Clone Git Repository. Paste your Git clone URL in the top of the page and hit Enter. Select the folder to store the Git repo in your local system. Your repo is now cloned. Click Open. Click on the Create File icon and enter a name for the file as main.tf. Copy my GitHub repo URL from this video's description and paste it in browser. And open the main.tf file. Copy the content in that file by clicking the raw button. And paste it into your main.tf file. Change the region to anything as you wish. Leave the profile as default. Change this to your bucket name that you have for this demo and change the region to your region where you have your S3 bucket. Click on the icon at the top right corner and open Terminal. Open my reference GitHub code repository and open README file. Scroll down to the bottom. Copy the git push commands. Paste them in the VS Code terminal and execute it. Your code get pushed into your remote repository. Now, open your GitHub repository and change the branch to develop. You can see your code has pushed in your repository. As the final step, we are going to check the Terraform workflow with Atlantis. Go to your GitHub repository and navigate to Pull Requests page. Click on New Pull Request. Verify that the source branch is Develop and the target is Main or Master, whatever you have as your default branch. And click Create Pull Request. Enter a title for your pull request and click Create Pull Request. Now you can see the Atlantis is running the Terraform plan automatically while creating the pull request. Wait for some time to complete the plan. Now the plan has been generated. You can see the output of the plan. It shows the full details of the service, which is gonna be created by Terraform after approval. To apply this plan, run this Atlantis apply command. Copy that and paste it in the comment box and click comment. Wait for a minute to complete the apply. Atlantis applied the plan successfully. It shows that the instance is created. Also, the pull request is merged automatically. Navigate to your AWS console and EC2 page. Refresh the session, you can see the new instance is created. We have configured S3 for storing the state file. So go to S3 page in AWS console. Search for the S3 bucket that you have created for this demo. Get into that bucket and click on the folder. You can see it has a file named terraformed tf state, which acts as terraform state file. We have successfully completed this setup. What you have learned from the video, 
You've gained insights into Atlantis and its integration with Terraform via GitHub. Atlantis serves as an efficient tool for managing Terraform workflows by tracking all Terraform runs and monitoring changes made by users, providing transparency and accountability in the infrastructure management process. Atlantis uses state locking to prevent Terraform state file corruption when multiple users trigger operations simultaneously, enhancing reliability and integrity. Do you have any questions? Please feel free to comment or contact us at our email ID or contact us page. We will be happy to reply you. Easy Deploy is an authorized AWS cloud consulting partner. We have helped various organizations in adopting their cloud journey by architecting, implementing, and managing their environment with AWS best practices.